All right, guys, it looks like we're ready to go. Mechanisms are good. This uh, gets uh, working. All systems are powered up, the tips and the hopper. All right, let's count down. Three, Three two, two, one. going down. How do we sort chips? It's quite simple. We pour the chips into the hopper. Doesn't matter which color. A DC motor drives our system. Attached to the motor shaft is a rotator which picks up the chips one by one and loads them into a high capacity magazine. An IR sensor detects when the magazine is full and the motor is stopped. Finally, we trigger a solenoid to chamber a chip into the end effector. And that's all there is to it. Now getting the chip to the Y column is another story. It sounds kind of like this. <laughs> We use a stepper motor to drive the linear carriers along a lead screw. Once the end effector is positioned above the correct column, we release the chip using a solenoid. Then the carriage moves back until it hits the limit switch, which then resets the position and ends are done. I played in column four. Column four again. <laughs> Get this. I told David that he has to whisper his moves to the machine so that it can decide where to play. <laughs> but seriously, the way that it works is that we have programmed serial data communication between our machine and our opponent. We also use serial communication to send data to another board for our game intelligence. So, how smart is our machine? Well, it's definitely smarter than the average electrical engineer. You know, some people try and trick our machine, thinking they can trap it. Nope, the machine gets them every time. What do I think is cool about our machine? It's got to be the lab view. Definitely the LEDs. When we win, it turns blue. When we lose, it turns pink. And when we tie, it flashes. So what do I think is cool about our machine? Huh, <laughs> that's easy. Balu, what are you doing? <laughs> 